12 People Who Made Money Out of Their Hobbies Story by Danielle McAdam, 1D. Profitable Pastimes Copyright Courtesy Dan Heard YouTube Fed Up With Your 9-5? Making money by doing something you actually enjoy might feel like an unattainable dream, but it doesn't have to be. After all, everyone has a hobby or two. While we don't necessarily pursue them for financial gain, some pastimes can be seriously profitable. Read on for our roundup of the most lucrative hobbies, and discover the stories of real, life people who've turned their interests into successful side hustles. All dollar amounts in US dollars, unless otherwise stated. The hobby, collecting copyright Militiger Shutterstock One highly popular pastime is collecting with enthusiasts acquiring everything from coins and stamps to comic books and vinyl records when avid collectors are willing to part with their prized possessions. They can make some serious cash especially if they have a complete set of items that are particularly rare and sought after. The Collector Charles Amble Copyright Charles Amble Imber One prime example of a collector who cashed in big time is Charles Amble. The American video game enthusiast from Wisconsin sold his collection of 750 Nintendo games, some are shown here, on eBay in 2017, earning him a total of $20,000 the equivalent of almost $26.000 in today's money Amble had been collecting video games since childhood and had picked up the majority of them from garage sales, goodwill stores, and auctions. It's kind of a nerdy hobby that a lot of people who are my age, you know, that grew up in the late 80s, early 90s, can appreciate. Amble told news outlet WISN, adding that he planned to travel and possibly buy a boat with his profits. The hobby, metal detecting copyright Shestakov Dimitro Shatterstock. Metal detecting is the perfect pastime for anyone looking to unleash their inner archaeologist. Treasure seekers will search everywhere from parks to beaches in their bid to uncover coins, jewelry, gold, and other historical artifacts. And of course, the most thrilling aspect of this hobby is that you never know when you might strike it rich and discover something truly valuable. The Metal Detectorist David Board Copyright Paul Quezada Naiman Alami Stock Photo Take For example, Metal Detectorist David Board who unearthed a 14th century diamond and gold ring, pictured, in a field in Dorset, England, in February, 2019. Historians believe the medieval artifact was most likely gifted to a wealthy bride in 1388 talking to CNN about his once-in-a-lifetime find, Board said. Back then, each ring was individual and unique, not mass-produced like today. It's stunning. The ring fetched an incredible 38,000 British pounds, 42,000 pounds slash $56,000 in 2024 money, when it went under the hammer at British auction house Noonan's in November, 2022. Not bad for a day's work. Panning for gold copyright Jeffrey B. Bank Shatterstock an activity dating back at least to the ancient Roman era. Panning for gold is much like metal detecting, you never know when you might hit the jackpot admittedly, sifting through riverbeds for a 24. Carrot discovery is by no means a get-rich-quick scheme, however, it could be a fun way to spend a sunny afternoon and perhaps earn some pocket money in the process. The Gold Panner Dan Heard Copyright Courtesy Dan Heard YouTube Experienced gold panners who are looking in the right places can rake in incredible amounts. One such example is Dan Hurd, pictured, who shares his passion for all things panning on his eponymous YouTube channel. One of Hurd's most lucrative hauls came in the spring of 2018 when he found what he describes as a monster gold clean, up at an undisclosed location on the Fraser River in British Columbia. Canada Hurd recovered an ounce and a half of gold over one weekend, sharing with viewers that it was worth just over CA$4,000, around $3,700 in today's money. Diamonds copyright Buddy Mays Getty Images Another similar pastime is diamond digging. You can participate in this unique hobby at specialized locations, such as the Crater of Diamond State Park in Arkansas there. Visitors are welcome to get digging in a 37-acre field to find diamonds and other precious rocks, including amethyst, garnet, jasper, and quartz, all in their original volcanic sources. The best part? The park has a finder's keeper's policy, meaning visitors take home anything they unearth. The Diamond Digger, 
Callow Langford Copyright Associated Press Alami stock photo in 2017. 445 diamonds were unearthed at the crater of Diamond State Park, with the most dazzling discovery undoubtedly the 7.44 carat brown diamond the rock was uncovered by Callow Langford, pictured, who had been keen to visit the park for some time. He uncovered the gem, which earned the nickname Superman's Diamond. Just 30 minutes into his visit at the time Kalil said he planned to keep the diamond, although there's every chance he may have been tempted to sell it on. A similar sized stone fetched around $20,000. Enthusiasts continue to unearth treasures at the site, with 838 diamonds found in 2023 alone. The hobby, thrift shopping copyright Gabriel 12 slash Shutterstock fans of fashion and a cheeky discount undoubtedly love rummaging through the racks at a thrift store. But did you know you can actually make a pretty penny from environmentally friendly wardrobe updates fashionistas capable of spotting designer duds hiding in the bargain bin are currently making a killing on clothes resale sites, including Vinted, Depop, and eBay. The Thrift Shopper, Ashley Peak Copyright T. Schneider Shutterstock Ashley Peak, from Dallas. Texas has transformed her passion for fashion into a six-figure side hustle. The full-time account manager moonlights as a fashion reseller and started out selling items from her own wardrobe on sites like Poshmark before branching out into thrifting in fact. One of her biggest sales of all time came from a thrift store. She snapped up a vintage Levi's jacket for just $3 before selling it on for a remarkable $3,700 on eBay. I never knew that I was growing this to be a six-figure business, Pete told CBS News DFW, I was just enjoying doing it, and that's what led me where I am today. The Hobby, Restoring Old Furniture Copyright Alpa Prod Shutterstock There's something therapeutic about transforming an old item into something beautiful, it's little wonder, then, that restoring dated furniture is currently a trending hobby among the artistically inclined as well as being fulfilling, this is a pastime that can be profitable. 2. Hobbyists scour thrift stores and flea markets in search of a bargain, then rake it in by reselling their upcycled pieces on crafty e-commerce sites like Etsy. The Furniture Restorer Lily Skjoldal Copyright The Furniture Editor Instagram Lily Skjoldal from Texas was able to pay off her $10,000 dentist bill in 2022 by restoring and flipping old furniture she'd found via Facebook Marketplace at thrift and antique stores, and even in the trash the upcycling enthusiast was advised to take out a credit card to tackle her debts but instead tapped into her crafty side, telling Metro, that's when I saw some old, dingy furniture on Marketplace, and I thought to myself, maybe I could flip a piece of furniture and make some extra cash. Skjoldal, known as the Furniture DR, has claimed she makes between $15 and $1,000 per furniture flip and documents her restoration processes on her website and social media channels. The Hobby, Gaming Copyright Fisk's Shutterstock It might sound too good to be true, but did you know you can actually make money from playing video games? Gaming enthusiasts across the globe are now getting paid to play thanks to live streaming platforms like Twitch undoubtedly the most popular live streaming platform, the Amazon. Own Twitch allows users to stream their gameplay from the comfort of their homes gamers can rake in the dollars via subscriptions, ad revenue, and tips from the people who are viewing their content, with Twitch taking a cut of the earnings. The Gamers Critical Role Copyright Salarco Shutterstock The most successful Twitch stars are earning staggering sums. The team at fan favorite channel Critical Role, for example, reportedly made $9.6 million in 2021, the equivalent of over $11 million in 2024, by playing Dungeons & Dragons. Dot, but what can the average person who streams for fun rather than as a full-time job expect to earn us, on the platform subscribe. according to Ring a survey bell, conducted like, by Stream Scheme? Thanks, Smaller please. channels can expect to regularly generate between $25 and $130 per month. The Hobby Beekeeping Copyright Alter Ego Shutterstock Beekeeping has become a hip hobby in recent times, with celebrities like Morgan Freeman and Michelle Obama aficionados of the activity the pastime is also generating a buzz as it can be profitable. 2. The main moneymaker tends to be fresh honey, but other products, such as soaps and candles made from beeswax, can line your coffers too.
The Beekeeper, Patrick Harrison Copyright Courtesy Harvey Beekeeping New Jersey native Patrick Harrison turned his love of beekeeping into a buzzing business as a child. Harrison believed he was allergic to bees, and he even carried around an EpiPen. However, he tested negative for bee allergies while in college and has been hooked on the hobby since what started out as two bee colonies has since grown into Harvey Beekeeping, a small business that manages 200 colonies sells honey and beeswax candles, and teaches beginner classes in keeping bees. The hobby, baking copyright ground picture shutter stock it's hardly surprising that this age-old pastime exploded in popularity during the COVID-19 pandemic with baking widely considered a therapeutic activity. Your favorite baked goods are full of carbohydrates which can help to increase the levels of serotonin, a hormone linked with happiness, in your body not only is whipping up a batch of sweet treats beneficial to your mental well-being, but it can also boost your bank balance, and you don't need to be the next Martha Stewart or Mary Berry to profit from your kitchen creations. The Baker, Michelle Heston Copyright Heston Cakes Instagram Marketing Executive Michelle Heston was shopping around for a cake for her niece's birthday but decided to make one herself when the price quotes she received were ridiculously high. This ignited her passion for baking, and she began making cakes for her family and friends. In 2018, Heston transformed her hobby into a side hustle by launching an Instagram page dedicated to her creations, despite taking on just one sweet commission per week. She's claimed she pulls in between $500 and $1,000 a month via her business. An example of her work is shown here. I've always believed that baking is a productive therapy for me, Heston said in an interview with Time. If you love what you do, it's not really work. I've found that both in my side hustle and my full-time career, both bring me great joy and push the limits of what I can accomplish. The hobby, knitting copyright Simona Pilala 2 slash Shutterstock Another pastime that gained popularity during the pandemic was knitting. Once considered a pastime preferred by the older generation, knitting is now a cool creative outlet for people of all ages and its generation-spanning appeal isn't a new thing. Actor Ryan Gosling hit headlines a decade ago when he revealed that he was a fan of the retro hobby. The Hollywood heartthrob confessed to GQ Australia in 2013 that he found it relaxing and even said his perfect day would involve knitting. Making money from this trendy craft is easier than ever before thanks to e-commerce sites like Etsy. The Knitter, Margaret Stauffacher Copyright Whimsy North Instagram A shining example of someone who turned their love of knitting into a profitable pastime is Margaret Stauffacher, pictured from Wisconsin, who claims she is on a mission to make knitting not nerdy. In addition to her day job, the mother of four runs knitting business Whimsy North. Her passion project encompasses everything from selling knitwear online to sharing a knitting-themed podcast on YouTube. In 2020, Stauffacher claimed she earned a respectable $3,000 by selling knitted items such as hats, mittens, socks, and shawls online. That's the equivalent of over $3,600 in 2024. The hobby, art copyright Kinchiro 168 slash Shutterstock for the creatively inclined. Immersing yourself in art can be a great way to relax, and whether your preferred form is painting or pottery, there's never been a better time to make money from your talents. Thanks to online marketplaces like Fiverr and Etsy, you can now sell your original artwork to a global audience, as well as being commissioned to create one-of-a-kind pieces. The artist, Dominique Brown Copyright Snoop Dogeetum Instagram Marketing Manager Dominique Brown, pictured, decided to turn her hobby into a serious side hustle in 2020 despite working on her art for just two hours a day. Brown revealed to CNBC that she rakes in an incredible $22,000 a month by selling her pieces online via her brand Domo Inc. 
Dominique creates art with materials like crayons and marker pens, and her designs are printed on everything from socks and sneakers to laptop cases. Additionally, Brown has collaborated with major brands like Disney and the LA Lakers, and her products have appeared in stores including Target and Home Goods. One of the business savvy artists' most lucrative pieces was called Reflections and sold on her website for an incredible $5,000. The hobby, jewelry making copyright best smile studio Shutterstock Another great hobby for the crafty folks out there is jewelry making. Not only is it a great way to relax and get creative, but amateur jewelry makers can also make a decent side income by selling their handmade creations via the likes of Etsy and Depop. The jeweler, Shari Cuthbert copyright by Shari Instagram Shari Cuthbert started out making jewelry as a hobby but decided to turn her passion into a full time endeavor a decade ago her business blew up in 2020 when Michelle Obama was spotted wearing one of Cuthbert's vote necklaces at the Democratic National Convention. This is the highlight of my career, having the former first lady wear my necklace. The jewelry designer told CNBC at the time news outlets covering Michelle's speech were linking directly back to Shari's business, and her revenues doubled that day. Cuthbert has since sold over 5,000 units of the necklace, which retails between $295 and $430 depending on the chain length and letter size. She described Michelle wearing one of her designs as life-changing. To support us please subscribe, ring the bell like share and send super thanks please.